Hey guys, what is up everybody? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I want to show you how to make your video look more uh, more professional in a way like most of the DSLR filmmakers would do. Because uh, if you have one of the latest iPhones and if you use Filmic Pro app, which I was talking about uh, in my previous video, uh, you have uh, a little bit more options how you can set up your camera and how you can adjust uh, each particular setting of your camera. And one of those settings is the ability to record videos in log profile. And log profile is a color profile which allows you to capture more data from your footage. And then when you do post-production, you actually be able to use the data to enrich your colors in the way you like. So it gives you a little bit more flexibility than usual. Here I have a um, video which I filmed this morning. Um, and I filmed this video in a log profile. So currently you can see it how it looks like when you shoot in color profile. Uh, it can be log two profile, it can be log three profile, they're a little bit different, but uh, you know, their main, their main goal is to give you more data within your footage. So when you do post-production, you can actually play with the colors uh, in a way you like. So this is a log profile and uh, I am editing this video in LumaFusion and uh, what is good is that LumaFusion already has uh, D-Log profile for uh, for Filmic Pro. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click onto your video. So you're gonna highlight your video, click onto the pencil and you're gonna go here to the second tab with the cube. And if you scroll down, you'll see a um, section which is uh, called plots. And you will see here in the right, you will see Filmic D Log V3. So I click here and you can instantly see how my picture changed, right? So let me show you again. That is how it was before and that's how it looks like now. Um, in most of the cases, you can just, you can just leave it as it is. That would be already, already enough to, to have quite colorful and deep picture. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna adjust it a little bit. So I'm going in the first tab with the colors, color presets, and I choose the original one. And as usual, as in my previous tutorials, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just play around with, with, um, with the colors. First I'm going to gamma. As you remember, we're going from the bottom to the top. So I'm going to the, to the gamma and I would put it to 105. Um, then I want to play with the blue colors and yeah, let's make it 1.3. Um, I want to make it a little bit. No, I'm not going to change green color. And speaking of red, I would also make it 1.2. 1. 1. So Speaking of shadow amount, uh, let's keep it as it is. Uh, don't, I'm not gonna change uh, highlight amount. I'm probably gonna change vibrance for 0 0.5. Uh, saturation is gonna be, yeah, let's make it one of five for the contrast ratio. No, I'm not gonna change contrast and I'm not gonna change brightness. So basically that what we had before and after applying basic color grading um, settings, that what we have. So it's completely different image. You see, it's more deep, it has more colors. So let me show you uh, the difference. So here, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna duplicate this uh, video, uh, clicking onto the pencil, uh, go into cropping tab, and I will crop it from, from the left to the half, right? Like 50%. Um, and I'll go to color presets and I will remove everything. So that's where you can see the difference. That is a difference which you have when you record video in log profile. So let me know what kind of questions you might have and I'll be happy to hear from you and maybe I will include them into the further videos. So there is something to discuss. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.